Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is The Glam Diaries and my name is Kimberly. Before you go any further, please hit the like button, subscribe and leave me a comment. So I am super excited because this month I'm going to be doing a series of videos that are dedicated to um, Black History Month. It's one of my favorite months of the year. Um, and today we are going to be talking about my Black Designer Luxury wish list. So I have yet to post my 2022 wish list. I think I'm going to turn it into a 40th birthday wish list, but I have a dedicated wish list of um, things that I am hoping to get from black designers this year. Um, I am wearing a sweatshirt, very, very comfortable and cozy today because that's what this Sunday calls for. Um, so I am wearing a sweatshirt from a black designer, um, Mess in a Bottle, her name is, and I believe she is of Jamaican descent, so that always makes things, um, all that much better. Um, and so this sweatshirt says, I'm um, somewhere between goon and glitter. So basically that's my personality, <laughs> um. So it's appropriate, but she has like the coolest like t-shirts and sweatshirts with um, messages. So go check her out if that's like your, if you're the person that's into like graphic tees or sweatshirts and you like to dress things up or down, she has some really, really cute options on her page. So let's dive right in. So the first designer, and I hope I'm not going to butcher any of these words. I'm going to try my best or any of these names rather. Um, but the first designer is Fee Noel, and this is a black woman on brand. She is Grenadian, um, and she is from Brooklyn. And most of the items on this list are actually from her brand because all of the clothing is just absolutely beautiful. So the first one is the Gatsby Palm two-tone swimsuit. Um, working on my body, I'm in the gym trying to get to body goals by the time whatever 40th b-day trip i decide to take gets here so i think this swimsuit is going to be perfect it is super cute i'm hoping that it's flattering um but it shows a, it shows some skin but still is to me very tasteful i also have the orange classic swimsuit i love a classic one piece bathing suit and i love this one not only because of the color but because of the cut so you can tell that it's going to give you a little side boob action it's going to give you some back action so back fat i need to work on that um but i'm loving this swimsuit just because it's simple chic and i think the color orange is going to be beautiful on um melanated skin the next item is the neon pink puff sleeve bodysuit. So the first person I ever saw this bodysuit on is Tanika B. I probably mentioned Tanika B's name in every single YouTube video because I'm obsessed with her. But this bodysuit is everything. Now on her page, she styles it as a, as a bathing suit, but I um, wouldn't feel confident styling it as a bathing suit because I'm not sure you know what the fabric is what happens when it gets wet so i think i want to keep it worn as a bodysuit i can think of it with some high-waisted jeans i can think of it with cut off denim shorts i can think of it i have a pair of um super cute gold wide leg pants that would probably go very very well with this blouse in pink so with this bodysuit rather in pink so i am loving this um piece then the next one is the Lola netted dress. So this one is quite pricey, not really sure how and when I'm ever going to afford it, but it gives me just black girl on a luxurious resort, just living her best life vibes. It is all mesh with um, puffs at the end of the sleeves. I think it's super, super cute very sexy but still very tasteful depending on how you style it underneath um another piece that i love is the black cloud wrap top it comes in both black and white but i prefer the black just because white is always so hard to to keep fresh looking um white gets really dingy really fast and i feel like i do have enough white tops 
and never enough black tops. So I'm interested in getting the black cloud, cloud wrap top. Um, and then last but not least from Fino Well is the linen panty shorts. So these shorts are so cute. They are basically a flared short that could pass as a skirt. Um, she also has it in a pants um, length as well, but I prefer the shorts because I feel like it gives um, a lot of vacation vibes and you can style them up really, really cute with a pair of sandals. The thing with the pants, even though I do love the pants and I think they're cute, they may be too long and they may take away from like whatever your shoe game is for your outfit. So I'm loving the um, linen panty short and I'm hoping that by my birthday trip this summer, I will have these shorts so I can style and profile. The next designer on my list is Hanifa. This is another black woman-owned brand, and um, you guys have probably seen Hanifa stuff like everywhere. Um, there is a signature dress, well, two actually. One that um, doubles as a cardigan and a dress that a lot of people own, and it has fringe detail at the bottom. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's actually one of the items on my list. It's called the Maya Knit Cardigan Dress, and I would love it in the hot pink color. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and it looks like it does a great job of keeping you warm. I love the versatility. I love being able to wear it open as like a duster. And I also love the fact that you can belt it um, with a really cute be stylish belt and possibly wear it as a dress. Then next, I came across this piece on the website. So this is the Knit Tube Maxi Dress. And right now, I think it's, if, if it's not sold out when I was looking, there is only one of this dress left. Listen, the dress is gorgeous. It is giving simple, yet sexy, yet chic. It is a knit dress that is plain in the front and in the back, it has buttons all the way down the length of it. Absolutely gorgeous, absolutely stylish, absolutely stunning. Would love to have that in my collection. And then last but not least is the Ma Malia, I'm thinking it's pronounced, pant. And I believe this comes in hot pink and it's a satin hot pink wide leg pant that I believe is so cute. You can either um, dress it up with a blazer and some pumps or you could go with a little edge and maybe style it with a graphic t-shirt and a leather jacket, some Jordans if you will, or you could still style it with some heels with the graphic tee and that um, leather jacket. So love, 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 love those pants. Next designer on my list. So I've dipped my foot in the Telfar pond and now I feel like I, um, I'm in it forever. So I do want to get another shopping bag, but this time I would like to get the size I was supposed to get. So everybody should see, should have seen by now that I did my um, Telfar unboxing. I got a bag uh, in the bag security program and got the large size and it is absolutely too huge. Um, going to be at, great for travel, but just too big for every day. So I am in the market for a medium shopping bag from Telfar. And so far I'm in love with the colors, Double Mint, which is um, such a pretty bright green, um, or the Margarine, which is kind of weird. So that is a light yellow, um, bright yellow bag. Um, both of those colors are gorgeous. I would not get both. So I'm, I'm going to just pick one of the colors and chances are I'll just go ahead and get the one that he restocks first. So everybody knows you have to kind of like sit on the edge of your seat for these restocks and hope that you can um, get one or get the bag once it drops. So my goal is to get the double mint or the margarine. Um, and I think right now the winning color is the double mint. The next one on my list, um, not really considered um, a designer luxury item, if you will, because it's not fine jewelry, it's gold plated to jewelry, but I must have it. Hopefully I'm saying the name right, but it's from Oma Lola Jewelry. 
and they have a Jamaica outline necklace. So it's just a cute dainty outline of the Jamaica map. And for obvious reasons, I must have it in my collection. Um, right now it's sold out on the site. So I have signed up for the notifications for when it comes back in stock and hopefully I can purchase it at that time. And then the last designer on my list is one that I'm actually proud to say that I have known about forever. And it is Andrea Iyama. I feel like um, Andrea Iyama makes some of the most unique um, quality bathing suits and resort wear. So I do own a couple swimsuits from Andrea Iyama, much, much, much older. Cause like I said, I've known about this brand for quite some time now for many years, but on my list to get, um, some more items for my imaginary trip. Cause right now it's imaginary. I know I want to go on a birthday trip, but nothing is planned. Um, but I'm preparing outfits cause that's just me. So the first item is the Kua Blush Bikini, and it's a two-piece bikini, high waist. That's another thing that I love about Andrea Iyama is that most of her two-piece bathing suits, the bottoms are high-waisted, so it is a bit more flattering. It covers anything that you might find a flaw, um, and so I love it. This bathing suit to me is so hot. And then the next item on the list from Andrea Iyama, and I'm looking at my notes, guys, because I had to make notes so I wouldn't forget anything. It's called the Gamba Robe. Um, I love a good sarong on the beach moment. Um, I just think it looks effortless. It's easy. It pulls together a look when you're on the resort so, so, so quickly. Um, and so I hope to add that to my cover-up collection because I started collecting some cover-ups and caftans last year. None that I'm super, super proud of because a lot of them are like just the sheer caftans from H, from, I'm sorry, not H&M, but ASOS. And so having this in my collection would be a great, 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 great addition. So that is all I have so far as far as black luxury designers are concerned. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I really hope that you are um, enjoying Black History Month and kind of like doing some things to celebrate. A lot of times we get stuck and hung up in our... Um, in our very hurtful past and we don't really take the time to celebrate just all that we are like as a people as a diaspora like we really are just the bomb so um if you made it this far please don't forget to like comment and hit that subscribe button that would really 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 help me out um and so i will see you in the next video